So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to solve systems of equations using the Casio graphing calculator. The first thing you want to do is make sure your calculator is on. Then you want to hit menu. You want to scroll down to equation. You want to select F1, which is simultaneous. And then you want to check out how many unknowns you have. In the first case, we have two unknowns. We have X and Y. So we're going to click two. And then we're just going to fill in, right? So if you can tell, it says a and x plus b and y equals c n. That's just saying, well, what's in front of the x, what's in front of the y, and what is it equal to? Um, here we have 1 in front of the x, negative 4 in front of the y, and it's equal to negative 10. Uh, on the lower, we have 1, 1, and 5. We hit enter twice, and we get x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 3. Let's take a look at the next equation that we have. Here we have uh, three equations and three unknowns. So we're actually just going to go back, right? We're going to go to our equation solver again. And this is again in simultaneous. However, this time instead of hitting two unknowns, we actually have three unknowns. So we're going to hit that F2 for three unknowns. And again, we're just going to be typing in whatever the coefficient is. And then at the end of the column, whatever it's equal to, right? So that D columns, whatever it's equal to, we have one. 1, 1, and it's equal to 9. In the next row, we have 1, negative 1, y, negative 1, z, and again, equal to negative 1. And then finally, we have 1x, negative 1, y, 1, z, and it's equal to 21. We hit enter twice, and we end up with um, x is equal to negative 4, y is equal to negative 6, and z is equal to 11. Finally, for the last equation, again, this one has three unknowns and three variables. How, uh, I'm sorry, three unknowns and three equations. However, it's not set up correctly. We have this a on the wrong side. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and move that and put it to the other side so that you have negative a um, plus b plus 2c equals 14. And now instead of using this, we're going to be using this as our third equation because it's in order. So it works out nicely. And uh, here we go. So we're going three unknowns again. And we have 1a, 4b, 6c, uh, and it's equal to 23. And then we have 1a, 2b, 1c, and it's equal to 2. And finally, we have negative a, right, because we moved it over. Uh, b is just 1, 2c, and it's equal to 14. We hit enter, enter, and uh, this is what our equations equal. This is what our variables equal. a was uh, negative 47 over 9, 17 over 9 for b, and 31 over 9 for c. All right. 